What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our 2023 predictions. The LSU Tigers are up next. Here are some of the predictions for this team. The FBI has them at 9.6 and 2.6. I think they actually have them ranked like number four in the country, but because of their schedule, I guess, uh, they do have them losing two or three games. So between nine and three and 10 and two, which is right what Vegas would say. Vegas has that over under at nine and a half. Athlon has them at 10 and two. So they're, they're on the high side of things compared to the FBI and the over under. Um, I don't think the schedule is really that tough. I know you do have Florida State in the non-conference, but um, Missouri, Florida out of the East, that's a pretty good draw this year. And so, yeah, I think the schedule is manageable. Uh, it really comes down to that Florida State game. So my thoughts on LSU, I think this team has a chance to be really good. Um, I've had them in right around the top five in my preseason rankings. Uh, Jaden Daniels back at quarterback is going to be huge. Plenty of weapons around him. Offensive line should be pretty good. Um, defensive side of the ball, you're talking about Harold Perkins and then the transfer Omar Spates, two really good linebackers. Defensive line, this should be pretty strong, especially in the middle. Uh, secondary is is the one area where I'm a little concerned about this team. But, you know, which LSU team was the real LSU team last year? You know, they knocked off Alabama. That was a huge win. But they also struggled against Auburn, uh, a really bad Auburn team, and probably really should have lost that game. They got blown out by Texas A&M. Uh, you, you just look at the, the inconsistencies with this team, and it even even game by in, individual games. Look at the Florida State game last year, and they looked they looked pretty bad for a lot of that game, and then came on late and looked really good late. So this is just a tough team to figure out, and it all starts with that Florida State game. And I tell you what, I've probably spent hours literally hours thinking about this game and trying to decide who I'm going to pick because I think this is one of the most important games of the whole entire season as far as the playoff race goes and I, it's just a very tough matchup to predict when you compare these two teams they're very similar uh, they both did a great job in the transfer portal both teams have some key players coming back including their starting quarterbacks it's just a really even matchup um, you look at the, the the psychological factor here. It is a revenge game for LSU. Um, but I believe LSU is actually now the favorite. I think they're like a two-and-a-half point favorite in this game. I believe Florida State actually opened as a favorite. Um, so, you know, LSU might be the favorite here. So, could Florida State kind of have the underdog mentality? Um, it's just there, there are so many different ways to look at this game. When you compare the, the X's and O's, and I really looked – at the the advantages advantages for each team and maybe the the areas where i'm concerned and what i think it's going to come down to is going to be when florida state has the ball can lsu's secondary hold up against these receivers for florida state or can they get after jordan travis you know that's going to be a big key i think stopping the passing game either getting to jordan travis or being able to cover the receivers that's going to be the key for the lsu defense and then for Florida State, when you look at them, uh, can they take advantage of this LSU offensive line? I think Florida State has an advantage there, uh, or will LSU's offensive line be able to hold up? So those are the matchups I'm looking at. Um, again, on the on the when LSU's got the ball, it's the LSU offensive line versus the Florida State defensive line. Who can win that battle? Uh, it, it's a it's a close race. And then on the other side of the ball, it's the the LSU pass defense against the Florida State passing offense. Um, and I really think what when I compare these two teams, where the advantage for LSU is, it's at that linebacker spot. Talked about it a second ago. And it's Harold Perkins, who didn't play much, I don't think, in this game. Uh, he didn't have a big impact in this game. Uh, I, I don't remember for sure how much he played. But you look at what he did against Alabama. He complete. I mean, he basically beat Alabama by himself last year. Uh, at least his, his what he did on defense completely shut down Alabama's offense. He was in Bryce Young's face all game long, and I think he's going to do the same thing to Jordan Travis. I actually think that uh, the, the Florida State defensive line is going to win, and I think the pass rush for LSU is going to win, and I think this is a little bit of a lower-scoring game, similar to last year. I mean, not a, not a really low-scoring game, but I think the defenses um, will be ready, a lot of time to prepare. I just think that, that that difference in this game is going to be Harold Perkins and LSU's ability to, to make clutch plays late, which they were able to do at times last year. I think LSU finds a way to win a very, very close game. 
and they beat Florida State. And again, I, I'm tomorrow I'll probably change my mind because I've been back and forth on this game. But I had to make a decision, and we're going to go with the Tigers to start off 2-0 because I think they'll beat Grambling State after that. Then they'll play on the road at Mississippi State. Never an easy place to play. You got the Cowbells. Um, this will be a hard-fought game. I think the LSU run game, though, uh, will be enough. That's kind of what we saw last year in this matchup. And I think LSU wins, but it's close. I think this will be a close game. Give me LSU. Next up, it's Arkansas. So weird that they're playing in September, but they are. Uh, playing at home, you know, it's a tough place to play here at LSU. I think the Arkansas secondary will be a problem for them. I think LSU's big receivers will make a lot of big plays in this game. And so I think it gets, it's the run game against Mississippi State. It's the pass game against Arkansas. This is really an LSU offense that can beat you both ways. And they'll just have to do what they have to do to win games. I think they'll beat Arkansas as well. So I've got them starting off 4-0. And then it's Ole Miss on the 30th. This is a tough one. This is a tough one to predict. I think it's going to be a shootout. I really, I mean, this you're talking about a really good Ole Miss offense and a defense that isn't great against an LSU offense that can also score. So I think this is a shootout, uh, one that, that really goes back and forth. I like Jaden Daniels, though. I think at the quarterback position, he gives LSU an advantage over Jackson Dart or Spencer Sanders, whoever starts for Ole Miss. And I think even on the road, LSU finds a way to get it done. It's close, very close, one-score game, but LSU wins. And I think they're going to have some some close games this year. I think Missouri will also be a close game. Uh, coming off of a, a tough one against Ole Miss, you go on the road to Missouri. We saw what Missouri did to Georgia last year. This is an underrated Missouri team, by the way. I think they're going to actually be pretty good this year. If there's going to be an upset, uh, we'll probably do a series where we look at the biggest upset alert, alert game for every team. This is it for LSU. This is your upset alert game because I just think that coming off of that stretch of Mississippi State, Arkansas, Ole Miss, um, I think this is one that you, you have to watch out for. But I think the talent of LSU is enough. They find a way to get it done. They beat Missouri. And they get to 6-0. Next up, it's Auburn. Uh, I think Auburn's going to be very improved this year. I think this will be a fairly competitive game. Well, it was close last year, even though Auburn was terrible. Uh, but just I just don't see Auburn. I know they did it with Bo Nix. They went into Baton Rouge and beat LSU. But I don't think they're going to be ready to do it this year. It'll probably be another crazy game in this rivalry. But at home, I've got to go with LSU in this one. I think they beat Auburn. Then you have, a, have to play Army. You have to prepare for that triple option. Uh, this will probably be a low-scoring game. Army will possess the ball. Um, how about Harold Perkins up against that triple option? That'll be interesting to watch. Um, but I think LSU will – the score will be close, even though I think LSU will kind of dominate this game. But with that triple option and, and holding the ball, it's probably lower scoring. And the score probably winds up being – you know, maybe a 17-point win for LSU, but I think they get that win. And then they get a bye week before playing Alabama on the road. Uh, if, if you watch my Alabama prediction video, you saw I already had them with two losses going into this game. And so they're going to be really hungry. They're going to be the underdogs here um, playing an undefeated LSU team. It's a revenge game from last year. They're playing at home. Everything just points to Alabama. Um, and I think that, that Nick Saban will have a plan. Again, I talked about Harold Perkins and how he wrecked that offense last year. He'll have a plan. He'll be ready. It'll be a tough, hard fought, probably low-scoring, physical game. But I'm going to go with Alabama to give LSU their first loss uh, and put them at 8-1. and one. All right, next, we got Florida on the 11th. Uh, Florida team that I think a lot of people are, are saying, you know, this team's probably not going to make a bowl game. They're going to be one of the worst teams in the SEC. I don't think they're going to be terrible. They just have a brutal schedule, and I think they'll be they'll be somewhat competitive in this game, but I don't think they're going to be as good as LSU. LSU will be angry coming off of a loss. I think the Tigers roll here and beat Florida probably by 17 to 20 points. Then you've got Georgia State on the 18th. Should be an easy win for LSU. Gets them to 10 and 1. And then Texas A&M to close things out. I think Texas A&M is going to be pretty good this year. I think talent-wise they match up pretty well with LSU. Um, this is a game that seems to go to the home team. It's just It goes back and forth every year, it seems like. And I think this year is no different. I think it'll be close, competitive. I don't think it's going to be a blowout like last year. But I do think LSU will win at home. So that's going to put them at 11-1. and one. So I've got this team going 11-1. and one. If you watch the Alabama prediction video, you now know that um, LSU will not be going to the SEC championship. But can they get into the college football playoff at 11-1 and one without playing in the SEC championship? We'll get to that when we do the playoff predictions. But I think another way this could go, 
and again, I'm I'm torn on 10 and 2 or 11 and 1 for LSU. I was really back and forth. I think they could lose to Florida State and Alabama. Um, I also think they could lose to Ole Miss or Missouri, and then Florida State or Alabama. Or maybe they flip these games. They beat Alabama, which I think they're capable of doing on the road. I'm not saying they have no chance in that game. And they lose to Florida State. If that's the case, they would then go to the SEC Championship. So there are a lot of different ways I could see them going 11-1 and or even 10-2. and But most likely scenario, again, I think is beating Florida State, losing to Alabama, and going 11-1. and So that's my prediction for LSU. Give me your thoughts, your predictions down in the comments below.